Hello, so in this tutorial, I will be using this 2x face and adding to it to create this 3D cut. All right, let's get into the video. So in this tutorial, I'll be continuing off of this 2x based cuff and creating a 3D cuff. So our first step is to add five beads onto our string. I already set up the beads here and I chose two of one color, a middle connecting bead, and then two of the same color. And so my string is going outside of this blue. So I'll be going in this direction and I will be hopping to the next blue. And so we will get a little triangle like that. So I had to add more string onto my cuff. I'll post a video specifically on how to tie on more string. So we continue putting five beads on our string and then beading through the next connecting bead. Like that. And so you keep doing this all the way around the cuff. So I'm at the last part of this section. I'm gonna put on the last five beads of this part and then go through the same bead I've been going through. And then every time we finish a section, we've added beads all the way around, we always wanna to get to the next level. So for this one, we have to get to the next point. So I put my string through the blue and then I'm gonna go through these two orange and then go through the, the blue point. Pull the string really tight. I like to go through each level and tighten uh, as much as I can. This will keep the structure of the cuff and uh, keep the points really pointy. So the next part only requires four beads in each section. We already put five. And now the next part is to connect this part to the to the bottom blue right here. It'll make more sense once we put beads on. So we're only putting two beads at a time. Put two beads on our string. And then we're going in this direction. See how this orange goes down to this blue? We're gonna do the same thing, but over here, we're gonna go to the opposite side. So we put two beads on and go to the next bottom blue bead, connecting bead. So it'll be like a little pyramid. That's what we're creating. So we're gonna put two more beads on and then go back up to this point. Pull our string tight and it should start looking like that. So for this part section, we're gonna put two beads on, go to the bottom bead. Two beads on, go to the top. Two beads, bottom, two beads, top. Bottom, top, bottom, top. Kind of like a zigzag pattern. I'll put, I'll do four more beads just to show you guys. This is a little different step than what we were doing before. So I put my two beads on, I'm gonna to go to this bottom bead. Put two beads, two more beads on, and go to the top. So 
So we're trying to make this pyramid shape all the way around. And so we're gonna copy this for each point. All right, time to speed up the video. All right, so I'm at the last set of beads. I'm gonna put two on. I'll continue doing what I've been doing. Whoops. And so here's the last two beads. I'm gonna put them on and go to the, the next blue one I'm supposed to go through. Full tight. Now normally, what we've been doing before, once we reach the end, we go through the next point, the next, we have to get to the next level. That's what we've been doing, but there is no next level. But we, we're gonna make the same pyramid that we made on this side, on this side. So the next level is to this point. We're gonna go through these two orange and then to that blue. And then we're gonna continue the cuff from there. So I put my string through the two oranges that are next to where I ended and go through this bottom blue. So these are the last two beads we just beaded through and then we went through this blue and now we went through these three beads to get right here. Pull the string. Pull it tight and on to the next section. For this next part, we're gonna need five beads and we're gonna put them on our string and go to each blue. Put five beads on, go to the next blue. Five beads on, go to the next blue. The one, the blue that's in the middle of the X based. So I'll do my five beads. And so my string is going outside of the blue in this direction, so I'm, I'll be moving in this direction. And so, makes another little triangle, and then we're gonna connect this to this side, making another pyramid. But first, we gotta go all the way around and do the points. Five more beads. And go to the next blue, or connect a bead, whatever color you guys have decided. Now this part gets a little tricky because you kind of have to push these beads back and then put your string through. And there we have it. Time to time lapse. All right, I'm at my last set of beads. Your cuff should look like this. So on this side, we got the done pyramid, and then this side, we got all of our spikes, except for one. Don't forget to pull your string very tight in between. I pull it after every other set I've done just to keep the points there and to keep the structure. 
I put my five beads on. I'm gonna go to the next blue, the same one that I've been going to. It's a little difficult because all these beads are in the way. Get your string through there. And then, so these are the last set of beads for this section we have to get to the next level. So my string is coming out of this blue right here. And now I wanna to get to the next level, which will be this blue point. So I'm gonna string this through these two orange and the blue. And pull my string. Kind of looks like a, a flower. All right, next part. For this section, we're doing the same thing that we did here, making a little pyramid. And so we only need to put two beads on our string at the same time. And we're gonna go do that zigzag thing again. We're gonna go to the bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top kind of sew this thing down. So I put my two beads on and I'm gonna go down across from the bead that this pyramid is going in. And sometimes I put two sections on just to make it go by faster. Pull the string. And so the other side is coming, coming along. I'll do one more. Bottom. Top. And pull tight. Perfect. So I'm at the last set of beads. Put two on. Keep doing the pattern of bottom top, bottom top. Put two more on. And then I go to this section, or the, <laughs> the top bead. Pull tight. And that completes that section. So now our string ended here. We put two on, went to the top, and there's no level to move up on. That is because we're gonna continue um, from these connecting points. We're gonna build we're gonna build off of these four and make another pyramid going this way. So we're we're already at the section that we're gonna continue on. So for this section, I laid out seven beads that we're gonna put on. So typically, every time you move up a floor, I'm using these terms, I hope I'm not confusing you with levels and floors. So we completed this section and we needed pyramids on both sides. We, need them, we needed them the same size so we could build off of them. If one side was taller, it would make it lopsided. So we completed both these. Now we're at a new section. And so every time you go up um, around, you, you tend 
to want to add more beads. So if you look at our X base, it was one bead, middle, one bead, Th three beads total. For here, it was two beads, middle, two beads. We added one to the legs. So we're just adding one more to the legs to make a bigger peak. So our string is right here. I'm gonna add these seven beads, three of the orange, one middle bead, then three of the orange. So I'm going out, out of the blue this way. So I'm gonna continue the flow and go to this blue. Pull my string. And so now we will have this peak. And so there's nothing wrong with doing two one, you could do four one, you could do anything. And you could stop here and take this cuff to a totally different direction. So I'm gonna continue putting the seven beads on. And the reason why we add more beads is because the cuff gets bigger in size. So you have this X base cuff, you need these. This gap between here is a lot shorter than these two. So that's why we need to add more. And then if you make a bigger cuff, this gap will just be even greater. I'll show you right here. Pull tight. And so now we have two triangles. And so see how this gap right here is this big, this gap is bigger, and then this gap is even bigger. So you want to add one on each leg. So yeah, time for time lapse. So I'm at the last set of beads. Keep going around the cuff, doing the same, same thing. So I put my five beads on, I'm gonna go through the, the last connecting bead that I have to go through, and I'm gonna get to the next level. Because this is the last set of beads I'm putting on, I have to go through these three and to the point. So I could continue growing on this cuff. And pull. Now I showed this in another video. I haven't showed it in here yet, but I like to go through each point and pull the string just so it gives me extra string to work with. I'm saving string and it keeps the structure of the cuff. When you do this, the points will stay like this and they won't become flimsy or like floppy. They will stay like this. So now I saved a ton of string, I pulled it out, and then these points look very pointy. And they'll stay like that because I pulled the string really tight. And I didn't do it so much in these levels, but because these are bigger points, you, you want to pull tight to keep that point. If there's more beads, they tend, they're more likely to become floppy. These are pretty tight by themselves. Next, next part. So now we are gonna connect this point down to here. Just like how we did for the pyramids, 
We don't need the blue part for this section because we're just adding the other legs to the pyramid. So I put three beads on. So my string is right here. We gotta connect it down to here. It's the same exact thing that we did here. We're just doing on top. And we're gonna do the same zigzag motion, bottom top, bottom top. Put three beads on and then I went to the next connecting bead. Like that. Keep doing this all the way around. So I'm at the last set of beads. I put three on my string. Go to the next connecting bead. Add my last three beads and go to that connecting bead. Now, I want to add that I think it's super important to pull your string all the way around. So pulling it all the way around just makes it look nicer in the end. And so you could finish here. This looks pretty cool. But I'm going to add one more step. I'm going to add a peak connecting these two blues. I just think the last the last peak makes it look so much nicer and bigger. All right, so I had to add two more beads to our set because we're on a on another floor. And so we had 3 4, now we have we need 4. So that that makes it 9. Nine beads, yeah. So I'm gonna put all nine on my string. This is the last step of this tutorial, so. We're almost there. So I put my last, put nine beads on and then I'll go across and go through this to this little. Make sure you pull really tight and then at the end of this, I'm going to pull everything extremely tight so we have this nice point at the end. That's what we're looking for. Put nine more beads on. Now you don't have to do this step. I mean, these are points. This looks really good on its own. I'm just showing you guys something else you could do with, the, with this cuff. Put my nine beads on, went through the next blue. I had to tie on more strings so there's a knot. I have to feed through all the beads. See how it kind of, if you don't pull it tight, it kind of tends to do that. So at the end, I'm gonna pull, make sure I pull everything extremely tight. And yeah.
All right, so I'm at my last set of beads. And then we will be done with this cuff. Put, put my five last on, and then I'm gonna go keep going to the next. that I have been going through. And now, now it looks a little flimsy, our points. That's just because I didn't pull it. So we ended here. This is, this is the five I just put on. These are the last five. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna go around the cuff, point. Not, I don't wanna break the string, but I wanna pull it as tight as it will go. I had to move my camera up because this cuff was too big for the frame. So here it is. There's a couple, once I tie it off, it'll become, these points will be more secure. But yeah, there we have it. Our 3D 2X cuff. Now we could put straws in these, these legs to make them perfect, but for starters, this looks, this looks great. So now our string's here. All we do is tie it off, cut the string, and we have a complete cup. So I've tied it off and cut the string. Our points look pretty pointy. <laughs> and so this is the last cup I made in the last tutorial. This is a 1x, this is a 2x. So it's a little bit bigger. And so it, it's the same steps, because if you see here, this is two, this is three. And then if you look here, this is two and three. And then we just added one last pyramid. But Here's the width to double in size. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram at CandyGamer and then I'll repost it and see what you guys create. And so here's the two cuffs. This is a one X, this is a two, two X. And then I'll make another three X and I'll keep going just to see the size difference and I'll do the same exact style and so I'll, I'll just keep going. So this is the size difference from a 1x to 2x. Two, two yeah. Alright, sweet.